hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how i make my uh, body salve healing body salve self. i use a shea butter raw shea butter rare organic shea butter and i add my honey to it this honey is pure unadulterated honey from the source because i do follow up and make sure that this honey is pure honey clean honey so now i use about two tablespoons into my shea butter the shea butter is about 300 grams and now put in my neem oil i use about two spoons two of my neem oil the weather is very cool that's why you're seeing the shea butter is looking very solid and i get my tea tree oil i use about two tablespoons of my tea tree oil into my mix this is because of the healing properties of both neem and tea tree oil and i get my vitamin e capsule i use both the white the green one i use about 10 capsules in all into my mixture vitamin e has antioxidant properties and is also very good for the skin that is why i use it I squeeze it in and pray with the shell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, I now add my um, tinu powder. I put in tinu powder into my mixture. That's because I have young children, and tinu powder is also good for the skin. Works against rashes and all that. Before then, I've already added my cacatin. I added one one um, container of cacatin into my mixture. Sorry, I wasn't able to show that. Then this is my glycerin. I don't really put much because uh, it also has the same humectant effects as honey. Then this is my um, home, my DIY cold process coconut oil because of the cold the coconut oil too has solidified. I uh, put in a generous amount then next I'll be adding my cold process homemade palm kernel oil although I didn't make this one myself there's a woman I buy it from it's pure palm kernel oil not the black one this is the type that is uh, this is the white one cold process not the one that is fried then this is my vitamin C and then sulfur. I pound it in. I pounded it and poured it into my mixture. The vitamin C I use 1,000 milligrams in terms of international units. I now put in my lemon essential oil, my DIY lemon essential oil, and then I stick blend. This is the final result. This is what we use to rub in our on our bodies to prevent rashes and the